Irene Purdy. 1922, <laughs> the Dark Ages. And he got in New York, that's where I was born, and lived there to the age of 38, I guess. Well, we moved by way of Indiana, Texas once, then back to Indiana, and then down here. We started looking for a church and stumbled on hope. And uh, Dr. Quinius was the minister, and Joe Aldrich was a very persuasive elder. <laughs> so we soon joined the friendliness, and I've always been a part of most things. We attended the Bible class, and after he passed away, I still continued to the point I had to stop driving. And then I picked up other things to do, like making communion bread, uh, cookies for the prisoners, uh, crossword puzzles, uh, riding my stationary bike that I ride eight miles a day, two miles at a time, about four times a day, and the heart doctor advises it. <laughs> the Amish books, I really enjoy reading those. <laughs> They're simple, down to earth. Uh, there's always a lot of good that comes out of, you know, at the end. Well, then I'm a pretty private person, quiet. Um, try to behave myself. <laughs> and I worked in the coil winding department until the oil started. And they took five of us girls over on the machine floor. And we replaced the men that went to war. And I ran a bench lathe, a drill press, and a formatic. We wore safety hats and aprons, and uh, it was quite an experience. And then when the fellows came back from war, <clears throat> I went back to coil winding. And there I met Bernard. We went to high school together, but never tangled. But after the war, he needed a date, so he found me. <laughs> And uh, we started going together in September. We're married in January. 